I'm not going to dress it up, I'm going to speak the honest truth. If I'm stupid enough to get hit by that big stupid right hand, then I deserve knocking out. And it will knock anybody out. As we saw, he hit me with it twice, and bam, I hit the floor twice. But it's not how you hit the floor, it's how you get back up and respond. And he knows he ain't messing with no quit in a house here. I'm a fighting man. And the great, late, great Brendan Ingle once said, to beat Tyson Fury, you have to nail him to the f***ing canvas. And that's what this little skinny leg super noodle will have to do, nail me to the canvas. And if he can't do that, I'm going to eat him up. Another that's dude it. your size or bigger is about to hit you right here a lot. <laughs> And you're just like, oh, bring it on? Nothing. I, I bring it on, exactly. You know, uh, I say it all the time, all of us are great. We all have greatness in us before, before greatness is only determined by service. And this is my moment and opportunity to display my service. Mm. And when I do so, I let the world know who's the champ. The champ is here, baby. Oh, man. This time is going to be different. He thinks I'm going to come out irking and jerking, as Eddie Earn says. Everyone's took that style now. The irky-jerky style of Tyson Fury. Made it famous. I'm not looking for irky-jerky. I want him to meet me dead in the centre of the ring. Let's have a slugfest. Best man stands up, loser goes down. I got 20 knockouts out of 29 wins. He knows he was rocked three or four times in that fight. But I never had the gas to finish him. I'll be honest and truthful. I didn't have the gas after the layoff, after all the weight loss. I never had the gas to put my foot down. This time I can turn that screwdriver until he's gone. And I want to meet him head on. El Mono, El Mono, in the centre of the ring. Let's make it a Tommy Earns, Marvin Agler type fight. Best man stands, the loser goes back and recruits. Back to the gym, back to the drawing board. I'll meet you, Deontay, in the middle of the ring, 22nd of February. I won't be running, you won't have to look anywhere for me. Just watch out for the right hands, because you're going to sleep in two rounds. He know what happened. When you when you get knocked out like that and put on the, and you don't know how you got there and how you got up, it was the grace of God that bothers you. That not only affects you, but it affects your environment, it affects your family as well. Because they know you're going in there again with this monster. And you know what he's capable of doing. It's not an act. It's something I do every time I'm out. I knock guys out. Every guy that I faced, I put him down. To this day! To this day! To this day! And it won't be no difference this time around. As sure as I was this morning putting this suit on and putting my shoes on and having a wash and brushing my teeth, that's how sure I'm going to kick the all over that ring. I stand by that statement wholeheartedly. This time around, this is called unfinished business. Deontay Wilder. He's the most lethal puncher in boxing today. Tyson Fury is the most articulate boxer that I've come across since Being the league. champion of the world. We know what's at stake. Fury, you know, he brought so much skill, so much technique, but can he make it down? What? Scared me to death. He has the type of power that we haven't seen before. But when I go in rematches, I'm always better than I was the first time. Wilder and Fury have both done some amazing things. When I get him in there again, I'm gonna make him feel the fury. To see that big man throw that triple feint and those triple jabs and move around the ring so swiftly. You gotta nail him to a coffin to stay down. I'm definitely prepared with my hammer this time. Deontay Wilder, I want you next, Bob! I told Fury two years ago that I was gonna baptize him. And I did just that. You know, rising up is part of the baptism. I told her he was gonna go timber. Hope he trains hard, hope he goes to bed sleeping, thinking about me. If only I could land me right hand. I'm looking to be the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. One champion, one face, one name. He went for the all or nothing the first time. I won't be surprised if he does it again. A lot of boxing media in this room call it the biggest heavyweight fight since Mike Tyson versus Lennox Lewis. Yeah, I'm not a movie star. I'm, a, I'm fighting for my life here. And it's all distracting. And I don't need it. Like I told him, I'm the lion. The king of the jungle. And come February 27, we're gonna rip his head off his body. This is finishing what I started. I'm finished.
business. Sooner or later, you know, it's gonna come, and when it comes, bam, baby, good night, like I always say. I like to invite our two fighters to take their respective seats here. We'll get them to move to the throne. Don't make me have to break this up, boys. You gotta save it for February 22nd. guys go on, at least one of them does, to establish themselves as a truly great heavyweight champion, a long reigning champion, etc., um, then this will rise in the kind of all-time heavyweight rankings. I'm, I'm blessed with tremendous power, the things that I'm doing, and that was that what differentiate me and, and really separate me from the rest of the guys because of my, my power and how I'm able to display it and use it. Not only uh, I, can, I can use it in the first round, but it carries on through the 12th round. I always tell my opponents that you have to be perfect for 12, set, 12 rounds, 36 minutes. I only have to be perfect for two seconds. fight must be a success. Draw won't do. I'm going to punch him in the face until he falls over. You know, that warrior in me, that mentality that I have, that king spirit, you know, I fight with the ancestors. Knowing me, I always fight broke arm, broke hand, torn bicep, third degree burns. It doesn't matter to me. So with that being said, this savage mentality. Come on with it. Yeah, Bring I'm a it. king. I'm a warrior. Yeah. He's the man here making excuses. He broke his right hand. I only have 12 weeks and four days to train. 12 weeks. I can be ready for a fight in two weeks. I'm ready for a fight today. Never mind 12 weeks and four days. On that date, I had the world's attention. It was a star-studded event, a date that I had to myself to share in the ring with Fury. Goosebumps on the skin, hair sticking up on the back of your neck. Excitement. And then this fight land on the wrong month. <laughs> this fight's in Black History Month, and I'm gonna for sure make him a Black History trivia question. That's a lot of hard work just to have so much power to carry around. Is it heavy? Hell yeah. I mean, my hands are f***ing heavy, man. I'm not afraid to go El Mono, El Mono. We're the biggest puncher on the planet. Biggest puncher of heavyweight boxing. When I knock him out, it's gonna look excellent for me, isn't it? You speak it, believe it, receive it. Speak it, believe it, receive it. Speak it, believe it, receive it. And it shall be yours.